Hey. What's up? You want to run that skateboard accident past us one more time, cowboy? Daddy, you said I should handle my problems by myself, you know. What problems exactly? <sighs> okay. It wasn't... It wasn't a skateboard accident. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's take it from the top, shall we? You told Mom about me getting into a hole with the guys at the bike shop, right? It was no big deal, Mom. The cards just, just went against me. I know, you know, never play on credit. I know, Dad's cardinal rule. And I broke it. Where he make me sweat it, too. And, you know, guys have always been good at that. I, I mean, making me learn my own lessons and stuff. Well, you didn't learn much, did you? I had a chance to get into a major league game. No, it was a real honor. You would have been proud. I took those guys for a bundle. <laughs> and then you went back. Yeah. But my luck didn't hold. It never does. So I, I needed to cover my losses, you know. You said I should handle my problems by myself. Was this last week? Yeah. My petty cash turned up short. Oh, lucky. No, listen, okay? Just let me hear me out, okay? I mean, I, I figured that I'd get back in the game, you know, and, and I'd win enough money to, to pay it back the next day, and I almost did. I was this close. But then, um, you know, I lost. I, I started losing again, and the bottom dropped out. And these guys needed their money, like, uh, yesterday. I couldn't come to you, Dan. You made that clear. I know it was stupid to involve Emily. It wasn't like it was stealing, you know? I mean, I still have the pawn ticket. I always planned on giving the quarter mains back their ugly vase. This is about the vase, isn't it? Just keep dancing, cowboy. Who would have thought, you know? Who would have thought the quarter mains would miss a little lousy vase? All their junk in that huge mansion. <laughs> you stole a vase from the quarter mains to pay off your gambling debt? Stole, Mom. I borrowed it. Go on. I didn't get as much for the thing as I had hoped. I thought at least it would buy me some time. But it didn't. That's why I got roughed up some. Any other details you want to add? I'm sorry. <laughs> Not what I'm waiting to hear. Well, then what? I, I said uh, I'm, I said I'm going to pay back the money. With whose help? I, I don't understand. What? Neither do we. Well, I admit I used bad judgment. You sure as hell did, especially when you went to Damien Smith. I'm... What did you find out about Damien Smith? How do you? Good morning. I swear, I, I didn't go to Damien Smith, okay? I mean, I wouldn't. I may be dumb, but I'm not stupid. We'll be the judge of that. I had to go to the docks to pay out my debt. How much? 
I was short seven hundred dollars. Anyway, they started roughing me up, and then there's all of a sudden there was Damien Smith. Were they his boys? I don't think so. I mean, they weren't too happy to see him until he pulled out a wad of bills and offered to pay my debt. And I said no. I did. I said no way. But he paid him anyway. And I'm, I screwed up, you know. <laughs> now Damien has something over us. Probably used it to get to you guys, huh? Let me have the pawn ticket for the quarter mains vase. I'm gonna pick it up and then you're gonna take it back. Anything to say, Mom? So you're gambling with money that you don't have? You stole from your father? You stole from the quarter mains. And you're in debt to Damien Smith. Is there anything else? No, I think that pretty much covers it. No, it doesn't. Because at the root of all of this, Lucky, the problem is you didn't come to us. Yeah, Mom, and Dad told me that, you know... Your just... father said that he wouldn't bail you out to give you the opportunity to learn how to solve your own problems. Now, that is a far cry from sneaking around and lying to us. We don't do that in this family. I know. You're right. No matter what it is, Lucky, we can handle it if we are together. Go to school. I don't want you to be late. it happened. 